an estate sale for $200 and sold it for $995. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I'm gonna talk to you about Bolo items. What is a Bolo? It's an item to be on the lookout for, items as resellers that we should be buying and reselling for a profit. These are from my featured members, people who have joined Bolo Buddies memberships on my YouTube channel to be featured in this video. I am gonna tell you where they got the item, what they paid for it and what it sold for. And I think some of these are gonna surprise you. Um, let's just go ahead and dig in and get started. The first item comes from Noelle, Farm Girl Scavenger. And this is her YouTube channel and she has amazing YouTube content that talks about Bolo items. Um, one of the things she does is let's talk about it. She picks a category and she goes into a deep dive of all things in that category and how to know what to look for. So definitely subscribe to her channel. You will learn so much. What did she sell? Um, these are seven days of the week linens, flower sack, tea towels, embroidered cows complete. And, and she got these for $2 in an estate sale and took a best offer of $50 plus shipping. And I know, um, I think I saw on her Instagram, if you're not following her over there, definitely she has the best Instagram posts um, of things that she has sold. But she was saying that a lot of people say these don't sell and she sold it for 50 bucks. So they are definitely still selling. This cat, it is an 80s Douglas Little Cuddles cat. Um, kitten, it's a plush. She got this at an estate sale for 25 cents and sold it for a best offer of $71.09 plus shipping. The next item comes from Cat Feeling Thrifty, and this is her store right here. Lots of great items. Again, all of the eBay stores will be linked down below in the description. And if they have a YouTube channel, that will be linked down below also. Uh, great time to be Christmas shopping, check out and support another reseller. If you want to save the seller, you can click the little heart and that will uh, save their store if they have coupons. Sometimes people upload coupons. I just did a video on how to do that. And you can send a coupon out to your past buyers and your followers. So if you're not following me on eBay, make sure you follow me because I do send out coupons. All right, let's see what Cat Feeling Thrifty sold. This is a mixed lot of Christmas ornaments. They are mercury glass. There's 36 of them here. I would not want to ship this. Oh my goodness. But anyway, she wanted to, and she got these in an estate sale for pennies and sold them for $91 plus shipping. I'm such a chicken when it comes to breakables. This right here is a vintage number 40 daisy butter churn embossed daisy flower and daisy on the bottom. It's a rare uh, butter churner, I think. Uh, she got this in an estate sale. She did pay up for it. She paid $32 for it. Took a, um, auction style, $81 this sold for, and the buyer paid shipping. So pretty cool item there. This is a vintage, um, reel. So it's, uh, for fishing and it says Sweden bait cast. This came from an estate sale, $9 and it sold on auction for $96 plus shipping. This is a vintage M.A. Hadley pottery horse serving platter. She got this at an estate sale for 33 and she had it up for auction for 91, but somebody came in and offered her $145 for this plate. This is what the back looks like. Unfortunately, when this happens, it just shows the starting price and will not show you the best offer if it was above the starting price. So $145 on this. I wish eBay was more transparent with best offers and stuff like that. Um, I feel like it should just be there for us instead of a line through it or situations like this. eBay, just tell us what it's sold for. It would be so helpful. All right, the Funky Pickle Thrifter, amazing YouTube channel. She is a bolo finder. She focuses in on jewelry, but she sells tons of other items and she sells other items for big money. If you are not following this channel, you should be. I will have her link below. All right. This one I'm a little confused about. It says lot of 15 action 4K Ultra HD DVDs. I don't know what 4K Ultra HD DVDs means, 
but um, it says Blu-ray. Apparently, these are some like harder to find DVDs. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. I'm a little confused by it. But she said she got these free and they sold for $102.50 plus shipping. Um, I'm guessing they're a little bit harder to find for some reason. I don't know. If anybody has any feedback, please let me know in the comments. This here is a J. King Green Urquoise necklace, earrings, pendant, sterling silver, DTR mine finds. She said um, this is a QVC brand. It was sold, or I'm sorry, it was sold on QVC. She picked a whole bunch of this stuff up at an estate sale. Uh, this was $3 and she sold it for $99.99 plus shipping. This is three dream and color hand painted yarn, classy worsted weight color blue lagoon. And she got this at an estate sale for $3 and sold it for $39.99 plus shipping. And if you go into her sold listings, you will see other yarn that she has sold for big money. This was not the highest dollar one, but this is the one she sent me. Cha Ching King, his channel is growing like a weed. Oh my goodness. And if you want to know how much YouTubers get paid, um, right here, he tells you. So go check it out. And um, of course, it varies per channel. And he has a, he does really, really well. So uh, let's move on to what he sold. He's a bolo finder and has a great channel. He uh, has a teaching background and really does a great job of editing and uh, teaching. So if you are a new eBay seller, he has a lot of beginner videos. Vintage Women's Ski Paris One-Piece Ski Snowsuit. Got this at a thrift store for $7.50, and he sold this for $127.49 plus shipping. This is an Anna Lee doll. He picked up all of these Anna Lee dolls, I want to say for either $200 or $300, but he went back and gave the person more money because he did not realize how much they were going to be valued at. So he's all in for a total of $500 for $583, which is a fantastic deal. He sold this one right here for $76.99 plus shipping. This is a Texas hat. It's a Longhorn specialty cap. And he sold this for $71.99. And he picked it up at an estate sale for $2. This next item comes from Groundhog. And this is her eBay store. You can check out what she has available. And lots of unique, different, fun items. Look at this cool cap with a little back to it. Um, it's a K brand. Really cool. Bolo. K brand is a Bolo. This boom box from the 1980s. She picked it up on high bid for seven, or I'm sorry, for $10 and sold it for a best offer of $79 plus shipping. These are um, a lot of six Allen and Roth room darkening panels. She said that um, she bought these for her mom um, at Lowe's and they didn't end up using them. So they just put them on eBay and sold them for $69 plus shipping. This is a Coleman sleeping bag and Salvation Army, four bucks for this and took a best offer of 65. This one comes from the Rebel Reseller. If you're not following her, another channel that is awesome. Uh, just incredible bolos. She sells tons and tons of plush and she's doing videos where she talks about um, categories of plush, different brands. So if you wanna learn more about plush, check out those videos, they are great. She sold this Mattel Saucy Expressions doll. She got this at an estate sale for $20 and sold it for $137.95 plus shipping. This is the Doobie Brothers from 1971. It's a promo. She got this at an estate sale for $2 and sold it for $71.99 plus shipping. And I love that she specializes in plush, but she is not afraid to go out there and look for different items. And she's really expanding her store to other items besides plush and it's paying off for her. Lisa Frank plush, 24 inch, oh my goodness, $2 she paid for this. This sold for $82.75 plus shipping. Lisa Frank is definitely a bolo. This one comes from PNW Flips. This is her YouTube channel. It is a newer YouTube channel. And if you would go and subscribe to her, that would be awesome. Let's see how many subs we can get her. And uh, let's look at what she sold. She sold these muck boots. Uh, she got these at a yard sale for five bucks and she sold these for $79.95 plus shipping. And this is ink, sealed ink cartridges. Um, it says genuine canyon, canon four pack. And this is what it looks like. So um, I don't know. 
new sealed original packaging not included. So it looks like they were just taken out of the box. She paid a dollar each and these sold for $35 plus shipping. All right, we got Terry from Mindful Recycle. You wanna talk about one of the biggest bolo finders I've ever met. Oh my goodness, this woman can source like a machine. She is incredible. Um, if you're not following her channel, uh, you are missing out because her what sold videos, I learn something new every time. Um, she will pay up for her items, but it's because she really has an eye for big money bolos. So check her out. Uh, here's an example. She got this Nintendo at an estate sale for $200 and sold it for $995. And no, uh, Noelle Farm Girl Scavenger, who I told you about at the beginning of the show or the video, uh, told Mindful Recycle Terry about this sale. And Terry went and snagged this up. So uh, definitely a big money bolo. Oh my goodness. New old stock mint in the box. Do you guys nostalgia all the way? How many of you remember playing this? This was like, my age uh, time time frame. I actually have one of these and I still have it. Um, I picked it up at a garage sale and I'm like, there's no way I'm selling this. And I told my husband, I said, we are keeping this. So we have one of these and um, it's fun to whip out some old Mario brothers here and there. I, I really enjoy like the old Tetris, the old school stuff. So let me know if you like the old school units um, or if you like the modern gamer stuff. I'm definitely not a gamer. I like the little ping where it just hits the and the mushroom pops out. Yeah, that's what I like. All right, let's talk about this. Flowers for Algernon. Non -alg I feel like I should know that. I feel like this is a really popular book or something. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, it is a pressed collector's edition. She got this at an estate sale for $30, sold it for $247.97 plus shipping. All right, she sold this vintage Barbie festival fashion. It's a rare outfit from 1971 and she sold it for $94.97 and it was in a big Barbie lot. So she's got about $3 in this one. These boots, ah, uh, there's that word. Is it Lucius? Lu uh, Lucius? I don't know, I can't remember, but that's what it looks like. These are lizard leather Western cowboy boots, size seven and a half. So that is a smaller size for a men's boot, a little bit harder to, to sell. Uh, garage sale, $15, sold for $149 plus shipping. Ohio Treasure Hunters. All right, he does not have a YouTube channel, but he has a fantastic eBay store. You can check it out down below. Here's some of the items available. And let's see what we got. We have this rare vintage. Delta kite. Oh, wow. It's a kite. Uh, it says Marvel. Look at that. Wow. It's a kite. You guys, it looks like just a cheap kite. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, he got this at the Goodwill bins and he sold this for $119.99. That is incredible. And the buyer paid shipping. This is a Kareen Coppell family of penguins trinket box, sterling plated crystal covered. Wow. Uh, got it on high bid for $11 and sold it for $239.99 plus shipping. This here is a one sleep number queen size air chamber half mattress. And he got this at a rummage sale for $2 and sold it for $79.99. So some interesting cool bolos right there. Zeth Eclectics is another eBay store that we're going to feature here. And here's some of her items that she has up for sale. And check those out down below. And what did she sell? She sold these amazing MCM mid-century modern fish. They're nautical, they're brass, and they're amazing. She did take a best offer of $80 on those, and she picked them up for $10. The next item is this vintage home interior framed pictures baby angel. Okay, so home, ho, co, is it ho-co? I think it's... Is it H-O-C-O -O or H-O-M Co? Uh, a lot of the items are marked. Let me see. This one actually says home interiors. But I found some little figurines and I always wonder what it is. And it's either H-O-M-C-O -O or H-O-C-O. -O. That's another, um, from what I've been told when I post the videos, that's what people have told me. Those are home interiors. So if you see that, um, Goodwill, $4.79.99 on those plus shipping. This is a Ping Zing uh, Shaft Karsten Golf Club. 
Goodwill, $2 sold for 65 plus shipping. All right, this one comes from Dolo Deals. And this is her store here. Um, I'll let you guys, you'll have to go click see all. For some reason, it didn't give me much, um, didn't show me many. So what did she sell? She sold this vintage hunting shooting coat, duck trap, skeet. Uh, she got it at the Goodwill bins and she sold it for $34. But what I wanted to bring to your attention is, is this thing is in rough, condition and it's still sold. So uh, definitely don't pass things by just because they're super dirty. If it's something that is vintage, hard to find, people will still pay for it um, because they want it. So she also sold over on Etsy this vintage Elgar Allen Poe Tales of Mystery and Imagination Leather, the 100 Greatest Books Ever Written Collector's Edition. She got this at the bins for 15 cents, you guys and sold it for $65.99. This is what it looks like. So a lot of the people that are at the bin scanning books, they miss the books that um, don't have barcodes. So definitely be on the lookout for the vintage books at the Goodwill bins. All right, you guys. Which one was your favorite? Oh my goodness, there was just so many great ones, right? I, I have to say my favorite was the mint in the box, Nintendo. In the box! Ah! Mint! Brand new! Like, who finds that? I would have paid $200 for that, totally, I think. I mean, I already have one, so would I have? I don't think I would have known that it would be worth, like, almost $1,000. That's incredible. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. If you would like to join memberships, uh, there is a join button. If you don't see that, there's a link down in the description. Level two gets you in these videos. No pressure. It's just if you want to have your channel or your bolos featured. Um, I appreciate you all being here and watching. And I can't talk. So thanks for watching.